Let's welcome Emma Thompson. You've taken that as a as a kind of secure security it's a blanket, yeah. For me, yeah. Thank you. yeah. Your first day off for ages. Yes, but slacking. But you're slacking. Look at all this. I was up at six o'clock this morning worrying about it and trying to sort of find the bits of my face that have kind of fallen off during the past sort of fourteen months. It's been quite hard work. It's been hard work, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's been great. Yeah, how can a a very sweet looking girl like you? I mean, you were labelled just before that the comedy series, but they, they put labels on it in body, they yes. said. Body. Yes, it's interesting that, isn't it? I don't think I'm body at all. I mean, I think, um, I mean, I do, I do talk, I do address certain subjects with a certain degree of um, straight Earthy, earthiness. Earthiness, earthy, yes, I would accept earthy. Earthy, yes, but not body. And when they call Shakespeare body, yeah. I'm, I'm happy to be, uh, to be, to be in, 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 in that company. Yes, so. but you, it, it's, it, I think it's the company of your peers that has, in some way, encouraged this kind of earthy behaviour, isn't it? I mean, people like Fry and, and, and Elton and Mayle, and they're, they're all contemporaries of yours, weren't they? Mm. Mm. Yes, I think I felt a little bit, um, especially when I made the programme that caused that label to, um, to emerge, I think I was in a state of, uh, of oh, you know, I've got to be aggressive and I've got to be alternative, you know, and that's how I'm going to do it. But I mean, I still like some of the stuff. I mean, one of the rudest pieces, also called rude, rudest pieces, I still like very much. Yeah. Did you know about that one? What was that rude one? That was the Salvation Army Ladies. There's two Salvation Army Ladies in a tea shop, and I did it with my mother. And um, that be I, I wanted to write something that was about, um, well, you see, I think that, 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 that the male... Um, Appendage. The, the apparatus, if you like, um, is is, a, is is quite an interesting little sort of contraption, and I've always thought that um, that uh, that it was quite uh, reasonable for women to be sort of interested in it and, and discuss it, you know, because I mean it is alarming the first time you see it, you know, and I think it's fair enough to sort of write a piece, which is what it was about, about um, discussing, you know, varying. Varying, varying. Very, variations. Oh, uh, yes. Variations, yes, on the theme. Yes. Yes. But these were Salvation Army ladies who were unlikely. The unlikely. I mean, there wasn't much grasp of reality there, was yes, there? Yes, that was cheap. Yeah. I'm willing to admit that. You don't but I just like the uniforms, that's why I did it. I mean, it was nothing to do with Salvation Army. I just thought I'd just fancy wearing one of these wee caps, you know. Hey. Mm. What about the diversification that you're doing? I mean, it was me and my girl for. You did that on stage accidental, at West End. Accidental. Was it? Yeah, I was just being asked to do it, really. I couldn't resist it. With a Cockney really accent? What, what's your natural accent? Scots, is it? No. No, my natural accent is this kind of about right back in the throat, nasal, North London accent. I hate it. Yeah. In fact, when I was up in Scotland and doing that accent, I really, I, I loved it because you can be so sort of sprancy and bolshy, you know, you yes. really say what you want and get away with it. But you got um, the inflection so well, it was so accurate, the Scots inflection. I know, not, I know lots of Scottish women a bit like that, so I just used to sort of listen to them. Is it that kind of ear that you have? I mean, you, you were able to step in and do it immediately, you didn't have to work at it. Yes, I mean, you just hear people. I remember hearing two women on a bus once, I want to write something about this. Um, but they were sitting next to each other, and one of them turned around to the other one and said, um, So I just looked at him in the eye, you know, I just looked, looked at him straight in the eye, and I just said, Just you get that thing through my body. <laughs> Seriously, completely true. <laughs> what was she talking about? It could have been a doctor, it could have been an injection. I don't think it was though, not for the expression of it. Well, it must have been fun to do Tutti Frutti. Oh, yeah, old Cold Train. Uh, yes. Yeah. He's a wonderful man. He's a Is wonderful he? man and a great artist. And Is that enough for a dinner? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a big though, isn't he? He's quite big. Yeah. But it's great because that just makes me look smaller. Because this last part I was playing, um, which is Harold Pringle, and she's saying English. Yes, yes, you're doing this kind of spectacular thing, which the BBC is spending its all. Yes, yes I know. not on last, me, I might add. Every last penny. Yes, yeah. absolutely. I mean, it's this big epic thing. I suppose it sort of wants it to be an answer to other things that I won't mention because I, you know, other programmes that have been a big success, big epic -y things, and we've yeah. been all over the country with that. And I'm playing this. Um, <laughs> This woman who's very, very English and not prim and demure, but certainly uh, 
certainly very different kettles and you know I mean she's of, of her of her time you know 1930s 40s quite a different era for women and um, I had to lose weight for that and I remember getting to Egypt and trying desperately hard to get Jiffy Tommy you know in order to lose weight you know drinking from puddles you know resting with old bones and, um, and I didn't get anything I didn't get I've got a very severe case of pyramid thigh though pyramid climbing, thigh climbing said pyramids that's dangerous, isn't it? I mean, without yes. the use of without the use of safety nets. Without the use of absolute. The mean, BBC don't give topics no, about I their know. stars, so they made you. I know. Climb a I know. Pyramid. We said so. We're going to have standards for this, are we? So there's going to be standing to do this, is it? it oh, no, there isn't. Oh, I see. Uh, so there's going to be ropes. Is there's going to be ropes or some sort of um, apparatus to help us if we actually fall off the, the, the this? Oh, there isn't. Oh no, fine. No, no, no. That's that's fine. I'll just do it in these high heels and this rather flimsy silk dress in a in a in a, in a force ten gale. It's extraordinary, isn't it? When they think, when they think about how much money they've invested in you, they make you climb a pyramid. I know, but it was wonderful. You know. It really it was wonderful. They're extraordinary things, those. We got very. I think we got very. Um, we got sort of blasé about filming on ancient old stone monuments, you know. And we'd arrive at the next. We go, yes, yes, temple is it? Well, how old is it? A couple of thousand. <laughs> it's about 2,000 years old. So, which, you know, it's just an old stone thing that we were filming on. Because we filmed on so many. We filmed on the Parthenon in Greece. You know, we got terribly blasé. It was really awful. Yeah. And what's it about? It sounds ridiculous. What sort, of, <laughs> what sort of foolishness is this? Is it? It's based on Olivia Manning's um, oh, yeah. Balkan trilogy. Hmm. Um, the Balkan and Levant trilogies. Um, which is the story of a marriage set against the background of the Second World War. Are Balkan. you the heroine? Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, I am. Oh. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, yes, yes, she is. She is a heroine, you're, you're but it's very sort of mundane. It's just about their their relationship. That's why I like it because most war films, you know, is I'm going off to fight now, darling. Be careful. And that's it. You know, I mean, they're all like that, aren't they? You know, whereas this is, um, well, I suppose you want some tea this morning, do you? Uh, and oh, by the way, the Nazis have walked into Greece. Um, <laughs> with that sugar or what yeah and and i yeah. think that's uh, much more realistic because of course during the war years everybody had to get on with their lives and c keep on getting up in the mornings and making and we're going to see it around about october yeah. october the 4th it starts, yeah. yeah will you stay for a little bit because i have somebody i'm sure you'd like to meet no not until october emma thompson <laughs>